After peeling off the blue protective film, I folded the sheet into a box shape and held it closed with a couple of screws before spraying the inside cockpit green. switch gear, this circular switch is actually from a dead multimeter and its surround is the front from a stepper motor I removed from a dead printer. These six identical switches are ordinary shiny steel toggle switches which I've sprayed black and there's a seventh even smaller one. Here's the choke pull made from modeling clay and a long four millimeter bolt base of it's made from a bottle top. Now comes the gauge. As this is a genuine working Land Rover part, I don't want to fix it in there irrevocably. Long after this has stopped being useful, the gauge could still serve in the future. So I'm just going to put it in a very tight fit and hold it in with a couple of blobs of hot glue. This warning lamp is made from a fragment of motorcycle indicator lens, cut and shaped, glued to a washer and backed with aluminium on which I've scratched a sort of pattern. Lastly there's the Land Rover badge itself. I cast this in plaster from an original. I'm going to glue this on with two-part epoxy because I don't trust hot glue over time. And there it is with the badge stuck on. And this is how it looks from behind. I've put in a fuse wrapped in tin foil to celebrate Land Rover's heritage and some nonsense wiring. There it is on the wall.